Craig Cameron here, and I hope you're enjoying these uh, tips and uh, short shows we're bringing to you here on the YouTube channel. I like it because I'm able to bring more stuff to you and just get right to the point. I hope you're liking it too. Uh, if you are, be sure and send us a message. Go to ridesmart.com or craigcameron.com and uh, check us out right there and let us know that you're watching. Uh, you know, I'm going to talk to you a little bit right now about something you don't hear too much about, but it's something I really believe in and that's something that I do on an everyday basis. And that's writing a lot with my fingers. See, now again, I got my hands up forward in, in the position they need to be. I don't want to be too far back where again, I don't have a good feel for my horse. So uh, again, if I'm riding in a snaffle bit and working two-handed right here, this part between my hands is called the bridge. There's different ways you can ride crossed rein like this. This one, I'm the technique I'm using now, I call it a cutter's cross. I put both reins to one side, then build a loop in my hand here and lay this one here, and then I can make it any length that I want. Now, well, I'm talking about using your fingers first to communicate or signal this horse. And so one reason we ride with our little fingers down instead of like this is so that we can use those fingers to signal this horse. If a guy would use his fingers more, most people, they're immediately going right to their arm, which a lot of times is too much too fast. And the, to me, the only time that a horse can pull on you is when you are pulling on him. So I don't want to pull on him. It's more of a signal. I can use those fingers to just get that horse's attention. So I can just tip his head that far. Now I push him over with the outside rein, outside leg. So I'm using these fingers. Sometimes to just position this horse, watch me just rock that bit down, use those fingers to drop that horse's head, to go right, to go left. A great way to slow a horse down to me Again, I'm gonna slow the rhythm in my body. I'm gonna sit back. I might even hum, hmm. Just, and I'm just gonna what? Open and close those fingers to what? To put, bring that head down and relate or soften or slow those feet. So sometimes just using those fingers like that, you'd be amazed at what a great response you'd get and how, how willing your horse is gonna be because you're using less. Remember? Use less to get more. And I tell you what, using those fingers will really help you. Even with one hand right here, I can use the fingers the way that I want, especially two-handed, just open and closing that, signaling this horse, just tipping that nose right, tipping that nose left, just using those fingers and being really effective in doing that, especially if I will do it consistently. I think you're gonna like it. Heck, I know that your horse is. Hey, it's all about being willing to change. You know, I always say if you can't change, you can't grow. And if you can't grow, you can't be your best. Hey, let's be our best. Do it for yourself and do it for your horse. I'm Craig Cameron. See you next time.